Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard, you saw the mail merge recipients window appear after you had selected a data source for your merge publication. This lesson will focus on using that dialog box to select the records that you want to use for your mail merge. Note that you can also open this dialog box by clicking the Edit Recipient List button in the Start group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon. Of course, you must have already selected a data source for the publication before you can use this button. If you need to select a data source, you can click the Select Recipients button in the Start group and then choose one of the commands available to either create a new list or select an existing list. In the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box, you'll see the records from your selected list displayed at the top of the window. Here you can check or uncheck the checkboxes in the second column to manually select or deselect the records that you want to use for the mail merge. So I could deselect Mr. Jones here and Mr. Smith, or you could go back and reselect them at will. Now, if you need to perform advanced filtering or sorting of the data, you'll find additional hyperlinks at the bottom of this dialog box that you can use to manage your list data. First, to apply an advanced sort to your data, you can click the Sort hyperlink. This will open the Filter and Sort dialog box and display the Sort Records tab within the dialog box. See that right here. Here you can use the Sort By drop-down, right here, to select the primary field to sort your records by. Let's say last name, for example. Then choose the sorting method to apply from the option buttons at the end of the field. You can choose ascending or descending by selecting one of those. You can then perform the same actions for the two additional then by fields in order to apply a second and third sort order if needed. To apply the sorting order when you're finished, just click the OK button and your records will then be sorted. If you want to apply an advanced filter to the list instead, then you can click the filter hyperlink at the bottom of the mail merge recipients dialog box. That will reopen the Filter and Sort dialog box, but will display the Filter Records tab this time. You'll see that here. On this tab, use the first drop-down under the Field column to choose the field name by which you want to filter the data. Perhaps we want to filter by state. Let's say that. Then you use the Comparison drop-down to select a comparison operator, equal to, not equal to, greater than, and so forth. We'll leave it as equal to. Then type the value against which you want to compare the field's value directly into the compare to field right here. So we'll say California, for example. If you need to apply more filtering criteria, then choose either the AND or the OR choice from the first drop-down in the second row. You'll see that right here. Then repeat the same process again. Note that you can set multiple filtering criteria in this tab. Once you've set your filtering criteria, you can click the OK button to apply them to your list. And you'll see that the only records matching that criteria then would be displayed. Once you've applied either a sort order or a filter to the records in the list, you can clear either setting to display all of the records again. To do this, click either the sort or the filter hyperlinks at the bottom of the mail merge recipients dialog box, depending on which aspects you want to remove, in order to open the filter and sort dialog box again. For example, filter. Now if you want to clear the sorting order that's been applied, then you would click the sort instead. But in either case, you can access within this dialog box both tabs. And in both cases, all you need to do is click Clear All, like 
like that. Once you've cleared whatever you want to clear, you can just click OK to display all of your records again. Now if you want to search for possible duplicate records in your list, you can click the Find Duplicates hyperlink at the bottom of the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box to open the Find Duplicates dialog box. Let's do that. Click there. Now here you'll see any possible duplicate records that could exist in your list. You can uncheck any records shown in this window to prevent duplicate records from being used in the same mail merge. Once you've finished, you can click the OK button to return to the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box. You can click the Find Recipient hyperlink in order to open the Find Entry dialog box. Now we've seen this before. You can use this to locate a record in your list by a field's value. Again, we could click Find, we could type in Whitman, for example, either in all fields or in the last name field, and click Find Next and it'll jump to that record. And once you're done, you can click Cancel to close out of there. In the Data Sources section down here, you can view the name of the data source. You can click on the name of the data source shown in the list, and then click the Edit button to open the Data Form dialog box. See that here. You can use this dialog box to directly make changes to the list data if needed. Once you're finished, you click the OK button, and you will save those changes. Now, Publisher will prompt you to save your changes and update the list in a separate message box. You click Yes to accept the changes and return to the Mail Merge Recipients window. Go ahead and cancel that for right now. But once you've finished selecting the records to use for your Mail Merge using this dialog box, you simply click the OK button to finish. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.